China's People's Liberation Army, the PLA, was born during the Nanjing Uprising on the 1st of August, way back in the year 1927, with just about 20,000 soldiers back then. But now, it is said to be one of the largest armies in the world, with about $178 billion in terms of its annual expenditure. Now, on the 1st of August each year, China marks its PLA's Foundation Day, and today marks its 93rd Foundation Day. And President Xi Jinping is, of course, leading the Communist Party's campaign to lead the People's Liberation Army, so it takes forward the party's ideology. He also holds the position of the General Secretary of the Central Committee and the Chairman of the Central Military Commission. Dianjiu 有本事、有血性、有品德的新一代革命军人。When Xi Jinping took over as the president of China, he spoke about rejuvenating the entire nation by building a strong and inefficient military. Since then, the army has fought in several conflicts. It has also helped in the fight against COVID-19. The PLA has helped deploy more than 4,000 medical workers in the central city of Wuhan in late January. Now, during his previous inspection visits, Xi Jinping reiterated the need for combat readiness of the People's Liberation Army. The Chinese president had also asked senior leadership of the army to optimally restructure the institution and hold more exercises under real war conditions. However, China's 2020 defense budget is still seeing only a single-digit growth of about 6.6%. And over the past five years, the lowest growth rate in recent years is what has been witnessed. And apart from promoting strict military laws and reforms in the armed forces, Xi Jinping has also engaged with soldiers on the ground. He was seen interacting with soldiers on several occasions and assuring them of his full support. <laughs>